is your forecast first. Well, happy Saturday, everyone. We saw another hot day in the books for us. Take a look at this. You can go ahead and see that dry on air. It's going to be moving in our way, bringing us another warm day for your Sunday. So we're expecting to reach above 90 degrees once again. But taking a look outside, as of right now, fairly calm, 79 degrees. So we're staying warm for your nighttime hours. Six mile per hour winds, and they're going to continue to stay calm throughout the night into the early morning hours of your Sunday. But right now for midnight, we're expecting to hit 74 degrees, 62 by 6 a.m. and 78 by 10 a.m. KTSM 9 News starts right now. Coming up, the results are coming in. How El Paso voted in the election to save a popular Northwest El Paso trail. Plus, infant death investigation. A five-month-old baby girl found unresponsive in West El Paso. The name of the suspect in custody. And back to the baseball field. How one former NMSU athlete is defying the odds one step at a time. From the station putting local first, this is KTSM 9 News Weekend. Good evening and may the 4th be with you. I'm Tatiana Favela in for Estefania tonight. Election results are continuing to come in tonight for several local races, including whether or not to save the popular area known as the Lost Dog Trail. Early results, early results show preservationists have a big edge with about 88% of voters in favor of saving the trail. You'll remember the Lost Dog Trail is part of the city's proposed tax increment reinvestment known zone, also, in, also known as TERS. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields spoke to preservationists trying to get a last word in to voters at the polls. She joins us live in the studio with more. Lost Dog Trail preservationists told me they noticed many voters showed up to the polls specifically for saving the roughly 1,000 acre land and also says the community showed a large amount of support. Watch this. Are you guys voting today? Yeah, Trail preservation is putting in last efforts at the polls. Please vote to save the lost dog. We're going to. That's the reason we're here. Confident in the numbers of voters showing up in effort to save the trail. I'm very pleased. The reaction to people is mostly a lot of people are actually saying, hey, that's what we came out for rather than the school board. Unofficial results show a majority of voters are in favor of permanently preserving the land from development. The city saying council will need to take the steps necessary to ensure this. And that includes working with the water utilities to provide payment um, in the amount of approximately $11.3 million or more in line with the approved bond covenant. Trail preservation campaign members say all this was a community effort. Our total uh, income for the, for the campaign has probably been around $30,000. So that's a, that's a good outreach from the public, you know, and I, I hope we've spent their money wisely. And um, it, it looks like we're, we're going to be victorious. If the Lost Dog Trail Preservation Ordinance is officially approved, you can expect to continue to use the trail recreationally. In the studio, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. Thank you, Stephanie. And several school board positions are also up for grabs in this election. In District 3, the Austin High School area, it appears Josh Acevedo has the lead so far with 48% of the vote. And over in District 6, where former board president Trent Hatch previously served, Freddy Cayel Avalos has the early edge with 51% of votes. Finally, in District 7, Daniel Call has a large lead over Mickey Lowry with 74% of the votes. And in the race for the mayor of Horizon, incumbent Ruben Mendoza currently leads challenger Adrian Rivera by 61%. That's a difference of about 58 votes. And we'll continue to keep track of all local races on our website at ktsm.com. A man is facing capital murder charges tonight in connection with the death of a baby girl. Police say it happened at about 10.15 last night at an apartment located at 125 Vaquero Lane. That's where investigators found five-month-old America Salgado injured and unresponsive. She later died at the hospital, and de detectives say 26-year-old Pedro Favela Salgado was responsible for her injuries and allegedly failed to call 911. He's in jail without bond. And one person was safely evacuated from a West El Paso house fire earlier this evening. Now take a look at this. According to the El Paso Fire Department, it happened at about 6.30 on the 6200 block of Bluff Trail Lane. That's in the Sunland Park area, and a total of 28 firefighters responded. No injuries were reported. 
Investigators need your help finding the man responsible for robbing two Northeast El Paso convenience stores in two days. Police say the first happened on April 22nd at the 7-Eleven store on Dyer. You can see the man threatening the store clerk with a knife, demanding money and cigarettes. The next day, that same suspect went to a nearby Circle K store, again threatening the clerk with a knife before taking money and leaving. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen. That's 566-TIPS. And this morning, more than 150 participants took part in the 2019 walk to defeat ALS. But before it started, the NMSU baseball team took a moment to honor an ALS patient who once wore the same uniform. KTSM 9 News reporter Cesar Vasquez shares his story. Our first walk ever down. They made me feel like I was a hero. And that's a humbling thing. Remembering where he once played in the outfield, Todd Watkins chose to return back to his stomping grounds at NMSU, where he once joined the baseball team as a walk-on. I made the club. A graduation, a wedding, and a family later. I started developing symptoms. Watkins learned he was diagnosed with ALS, a progressive disease losing control of the muscles. Accepting the physical limitations and allowing others to do things for me that I had spent a lifetime doing. On Saturday morning, the 2019 Walk to Defeat ALS, dedicating a moment for Watkins. Baseball team, we want to present you with this signed jersey from all of us. Wow. And especially someone who has ALS, it really shows that once you come to NMSU, you're part of a family, you're part of the culture here. And you're always going to be with us. Despite his limitations, nothing would stop Watkins from joining in on the walk with those who share similar battles. To surround yourself with the people that you love and that love you, and to reconnect with parts of your life that have long since been somewhat forgotten, like my time here. Cesar Vasquez, KTSM, 9 News. If you've been looking to add a new furry friend to your pack, and now's a good time to do so. The El Paso Animal Services is offering free adoptions this weekend as part of its fourth annual Cinco de Mayo Adoption Fiesta. If you miss out on it today, the event will continue tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And if you're planning on going out and drinking tonight to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, listen up. The El Paso Police Department's DWI task force has already been out on the streets looking for drunk drivers. The operation taking place since last night and will go on until tomorrow. So if you do drink, find a safe ride home. Coming up on display, a look at the new exhibit at the El Paso Museum of Art and what makes it different. Plus, fun for all, the new accommodations now available at a West El Paso park. Then another hot but dry day ahead. Some rain chances, though, are in your forecast. We'll have more on that next. Thanks for watching KTSM 9 News. If you have a news story, call our hotline now. 915-533-KTSM. Reach us via social media or email us at news at KTSM.com. Furniture Row Employee Pricing, you pay what we pay. For the first time ever, our employee pricing is available to everyone. Get 15% off a single item when you spend $9.99 or more. Plus, two years, no interest. Hurry, employee pricing at Furniture Row ends soon. And Nissan Armada. Intelligence with an attitude. Get a low 349 per month lease on the 2019 Armada. As a parent, nothing is more important than setting my child up for success. A good education and having my son go to college is the best way to make that happen. That's why I was so happy when Idea Public Schools opened in my neighborhood. With IDEA's track record of success, focus on whole child development, and expert teachers, I know I made the right choice for my son's future. Thanks, IDEA. I can already imagine the moment when he announces what college he'll be attending. 
Do you have moderate to severe acne? 3A Research is conducting a trial of an investigational drug for acne. Participants must be 12 to 40 years of age and have moderate to severe acne to facial area. This is a 12-week study. Compensation for your time and travel up to $300. Contact our office, 3A Research, with Michael Rouching at 915-745-8000 or go to the number 3asites.com. It's the 48-hour Group 1 used cars of El Paso sell-down. This Friday and Saturday, six Shamali dealerships, 500 pre-owned vehicles. Save time, save money with our no-haggle, no-hassle, best price first at Audi El Paso, BMW El Paso, Porsche El Paso, Subaru El Paso, Shamali Buick GMC, and Shamali Ford. El Paso's Group 1 family of dealerships has the best selection and prices in El Paso. Everyone drives this Friday and Saturday. Usedcarsofelpaso.com. With employee pricing at Denver Mattress, you pay what we pay. For the first time ever, get 15% off a single Denver Mattress brand product when you spend $9.99 or more, plus two years no interest financing. Hurry! Employee pricing at Denver Mattress ends soon. Some high school students on the borderline are showcasing who they are through art. Socorro ISD and the El Paso Museum of Art created an art exhibit with work from 28 students from Americas, Eastlake, El Dorado, Montwood, Pebble Hills, and Socorro High High Schools. Students say this experience gives them a chance to express themselves in a creative way. All of the experiences and critiques and judgments and positivity and negativity that I get in life, I use all of that energy to create vibrating energy as I'm looking towards the light. And that's who I am at the end of the day. This is the second year in a row the school district held the exhibit, and they are the only district to do so at the 60-year-old museum. And a new mural showcasing the imagination of Borderlands students is now on display at Veterans Park in Northeast El Paso. Local artists collaborated with students from Bradley, Barron, and Tom Lee Elementary Schools to create the mural called Together We Form Mountains. The, pro the project gave students a chance to be creative and share their ideas to make the artwork a success. The painting was completed in about two months. And across town, a West El Paso playground unveiling its new improvements, providing a fun place to play for children of all abilities. The playground is at Thorn Park, and it includes a new parking lot with wheelchair, wheelchair ramps, a new swing set, and renovated basketball court. These improvements were made possible through Community Development Block grant funds. And another hot day in the borderline, and Selena says we're not expecting to see a cool down until the start of the week. That's right, another 90 degree weather day is in store for us, but an upper low is expected to drop us down below average. By, and by midweek, we're expecting to hit the 70s. I'll go ahead and have more details on that later on in your full forecast. Thanks for watching KTSM 9 News. Segment sponsored by Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. Are you ready to get revved up? Whole Toyota's got the vehicle you've been searching for. With its unparalleled performance capabilities, the 2019 Corolla will have you pushing the boundaries of your weekends. Loaded with features that will keep you connected wherever the road takes you. I'm just here to spice things up in the kitchen. I'll say. With this new breakthrough from Cons Home Plus. The Cons Low Payment Finder finds the lowest payment tailored to you, good credit or building credit. Wow. So you can replace this broken down eyesore with something... Something I'd rather look at. I'm right here. I'm just going to let myself out. I'm one of those people that I wake up smiling. Knee pain and, and foot pain gave me a reason not to smile. Once I got my arch supports from Good Feet, that pain just kind of instantly went away. My wife said, you're a different person. She thought that was good. I'm a Texan, and for 22 years, I've driven nothing but Ford F-150s. I think it's just in my DNA. <laughs> I absolutely love the way it looks. I love the Apple CarPlay. I can make phone calls. I can listen to any music. Everything I can do on my phone, I can do it hands-free and still be safe on the road. It's hard to beat that. My name's Reed Johnson, and I drive a Ford F-150. Now get an F-150 with zero for 72, plus get 2,500 package discount on XLT. Only at your best in Texas Ford dealer. 
Qualified and certified welders are always in high demand in the construction and manufacturing industries, and the demand will only continue to grow. The Advanced Welding Technology Program at Western Tech can prepare you for a rewarding career as a professional welder with all the skills, knowledge, and industry essential structural and pipe certifications. Get started in one of the most critical jobs in manufacturing today. The Advanced Welding Technology Program at Western Tech. Visit westerntech.edu. Classes begin soon. I am a nurse, a firefighter, a college student, a mother, and I am an American soldier. I will always be ready for every storm and disaster that threatens my community. I will always be there to protect my neighbors, my family, and my country. We are the Army National Guard. We are the Army National Guard. We are the Army National Guard. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about part-time service. KTSM 9 News is the only local station there as the San Elizario boys soccer team brings back-to-back -back state soccer titles to the borderland. Another reason KTSM 9 News is your local sports authority. Enhance your everyday driving experience with a 2019 RAV4 from Poe Toyota. Showcasing a panoramic glass roof, an elevated cabin experience, including JBL audio system and thoughtful interior design. Rest assured, you'll own the scenic route. Well, everyone, we saw another day filled with with heat we did reach 90 degrees today take a look at this you can see most of the southern part of the nation was dry and warm and we're going to continue to stay that way as we head on into your sunday now el paso and the borderline we stayed fairly hot well above average we should be around 84 degrees yet we were six degrees above average once again reaching 90 degrees so it's definitely already feeling like summer even though we're still in spring so once again today our high was at 90 and our low at 60 so we're above average for both and we're only eight degrees shy of meeting our record temperatures set in 1947 so we are expected to get hotter tomorrow that's due to all that dry warm air you can see out towards the west of us now that's going to be moving in our way throughout the night. Now, as it does that, it's going to continue to keep us dry. But as for right now, it's 79 degrees in El Paso as well as in Juarez, 71 in Las Cruces, and 74 in Deming. But let's go ahead and take a look at those wind speeds. Staying fairly calm as of right now, we're going to continue to stay calm throughout the night. So that's also going to be keeping us warm, but a beautiful night. Well, if you're going to go out and you definitely want to make sure you pack those sweaters because it is going to get chilly once we get to those later hours. 60 degrees is our overnight low here in El Paso and throughout the area. 53 in Las Cruces, 50 in Deming and 62 in Juarez. But take a look at what we should be seeing for tomorrow. We're expecting more heat. But first, we are paying attention to this low pressure system out towards the west of us because it's going to be pushing in cooler air that's going to be cooling us down. But for tomorrow, your Sunday, we are going to be very dry and very warm. So you want to be careful if you're grilling for single de mile. Make sure that you do put out those coals safely so that you don't start a fire because they will spread fast. 91 degrees is your expected uh, high for tomorrow. Those winds coming in from the southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. 87 in Las Cruces, 87 in Deming, and 91 in Juarez. But take a look at how to prepare for that heat. You want to make sure that you are going to be wearing what you need to and check on your loved ones because it is going to be hot. But look at this temperature trend. We're going to be dropping 81 degrees by Wednesday, 82 by Thursday, so we're going to drop below average, and that's all due to that low pressure system. Like I said, it's going to be moving in our way, cooling us down quite a bit, at least here in the borderline. But let's take a look at the rest of your nine-day forecast for tomorrow. 91 degrees, and then we're going to be dropping to 78 for Friday. We do have those rain chances, although they may diminish into next weekend. Now, take a look at this picture sent in by one of our weather watchers. A beautiful sunset in central El Paso. If you want to become a weather watcher, you can go ahead and send your pictures to our social media accounts, such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or you can email them to us at news at kdsm.com. Thank you, Selena. Well, we have Colin Deaver here now with a look at some sports. That's right. Well, we, of course, know the 145th running of the Kentucky Derby was today. It always has some local flavor. Cutting humor as the Sutherland Derby winner he ran in today's race. We'll find out how he did next. Plus, hey, check this out. Monica Cortez, our chief meteorologist, throwing out the first pitch in New Mexico State. That's a strike. We'll see how the Aggies did next. I'm Monica Cortez, your local weather authority. What are you doing just sitting there? Spring is here and it's time for change. Stop by El Paso Honda today.
today for our major spring sales event. We'll have you cruising into spring in a new 2019 Civic LX for $99 a month. Visit us today and experience the difference. Welcome to the Edge of Texas. At the Edge of Texas, our steaks are delicately cut. You have to love the outcome of the food. For me, my heart is in it, and I'd like to share it with everyone. We have great margaritas. They are part of the Edge of Texas. The Edge of Texas, for me, is my home. You want a home-cooked meal? You want great service? Come to the Edge of Texas. We'll take great care of you. El Paso Zone Dr. Daniel Lopez, specializing in cosmetic and general dentistry. Healthy 32 Dental offers same-day crowns and veneers using 3D technology. We also offer wisdom and regular tooth extraction, root canals, gum disease treatments, implants, partial and full dentures, and Invisalign, clear orthodontic aligners. I'm Dr. Lopez. It's all about Thank you, El Paso, for your continued trust. Please visit us at our new location, Healthy 32 Dental. One appointment is all you need. Healthy smile, healthy life. The world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate, available only on the next-generation GMC Sierra. During GMC's truck month, Get over 8,500 total value on this next generation Sierra SLT. Plus, get an additional 1,000 purchase allowance when you finance through GM Financial. GMC, truck month like a pro. Your zip code. Just one number different, and you might have a whole other life. Different school. Different job, different dreams, different problems. In America, the zip code you're born in can determine your future. The Y works to change that with programs and services that help everyone thrive, no matter who you are or where you're from. For a better us, support your local Y today. What are you doing just sitting there? Spring is here, and it's time for change. Come on down and let us find the perfect car for you. We'll have you cruising into spring in a new 2019 Accord LX for $219 a month. Stop by El Paso Honda today for our major spring sales event. And now, KTSM 9 Sports with Colin Deaver. Sponsored by Glasheen Byers and Enderman Injury Lawyers. It's the biggest day in horse racing, and it always has a little El Paso flavor. The winner of the Sunland Derby gets an automatic bid to the Kentucky Derby, and on a day that featured one of the craziest finishes in the 145-year history of the Derby, it was Sunland winner Cutting Humor that got its chance to run for the roses. Here we go. There's Cutting Humor in the rain with Triple Crown winner Mike Smith aboard him. The Sunland Derby winner only finished in 10th place today, though things got weird. First, Maximum Security appears to finish off a wire-to-wire -wire victory with Country House finishing second. However, some controversy. A few jockeys filed objections against Maximum Security after he appeared to duck in on the final turn. It almost caused a massive accident, so the horse was disqualified for the first time in the 145-year history of the Derby that that has happened. Country House at 65 to 1 odds named the winner. It's the longest odds for a Derby winner ever. The previous record holder for the longest Derby odds to win the race was Mind That Bird in 2009, who won at 50 to 1 odds. He finished fourth in the Sunland Derby that year, and he was back in El Paso today with trainer Chip Woolley as he led the Sunland Park Handicap Post Parade. Mind That Bird is still well thought of in horse racing. He's got a pretty strong legacy in horse racing. You know, he's still well received everywhere he goes, and and uh, you know, he was the only horse in about 11 year period there that lit the board in all three of the Triple Crown races. I mean, he was a really good, tough horse, laid it on the line every time. And Runaway Ghost won the Sunland Park handicap with jockey Santiago Gonzalez riding him.
On now to baseball. New Mexico State's wild win over UTRGV on Friday night put the Aggies and Vaqueros in a tie atop the WAC standings. NMSU was looking to take over first place with a win today. Before the game, KTSM Chief Meteorologist Monica Cortez thrown out the first pitch and that one right down Broadway. She was excited. Unfortunately, that was the only thing that went NMSU's way. Top first, Aaron Galvan rips a single up the middle to score two runs. Later in the frame, Coleman Grubbs goes the other way with an RBI single. Vaqueros scored Seven runs in the first inning and route to a 21 to 11 win. The rubber match is set for 11 a.m. on Sunday. Back here in El Paso, a big day for Tobin Echohawk in UTEP softball. The Miners won the first game of a doubleheader with Florida International 8 to 4, earning UTEP a spot in next week's Conference USA tournament. They dropped game two of the series 4 to 2. They'll look to win on Senior Day on Sunday at noon. To the high school diamond, six teams from the Sun City were still in action this afternoon looking to punch their tickets to the second round of the postseason. We'll be getting Class 6A Montwood looking to win Game 2 of its by-district series with Midland. Top 7, Montwood up 2-1, to one, but the ball gets away right here. Midland comes in to tie the game at two apiece. So this one went to extras. Bottom eight, Aaron Oropesa, the hero for the Rams. The walk-off single scores Josh Garcia. So the Rams, the wild one, they get the win three to two. They are on to the area round. Staring in class 6A, America's needing to win just a single game over Friendship to move on, but Friendship had other ideas. Top of the fourth, Jacob Gutierrez, they solo bomb. Friendship would win game two, four to three, to force a decisive game three. America's loses that one, five to four, so the Trailblazer season comes to an end. Elsewhere, how about district champion Socorro needing to win two in a row today to stay alive? Two on for the Bulldogs in the bottom of the first. Cesar Corral grounds to first. Pitcher Jonathan uh, Ruiz, however, was dealing for Socorro. He struck out the side in the first inning. Unfortunately, he got no run support. Odessa shuts out the Bulldogs two to nothing, so Socorro's season is over. Class 4A by district action. Clint moving on to the area round with a 5-4 win over Monahan. San Elisario forced the game three with Seminole, but they lost the decisive game three to two, and Andrews ended Mountain View season 12 to one. Finally, Class 5A area softball playoffs wrapping up today. Eastlake falls in Game three to Alito, five to three. Hank season ends at the hands of Lovett Coronado, eleven to three. So just one softball team is left. That's Chapin. They will play Alito in round number three. That's it for sports. We'll be right back after the break. El Paso Chihuahua highlights sponsored by Oscar Audieta Allstate Agency. Summer's here, and with a great deal on a new Toyota, you can do all the things that make the season so much fun, like go biking, Mother's Day, glamping, graduations. Music festivals! Motocross! Sim riding! During the Summer Starts Here sales event, get $1,500 customer cash, or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2019 Camry. Your Summer Starts Here! Toyota, let's go places! Do you have moderate to severe acne? 3A Research is conducting a trial of an investigational drug for acne. Participants must be 12 to 40 years of age and have moderate to severe acne to facial area. This is a 12-week study. Compensation for your time and travel up to $300. Contact our office, 3A Research with Michael Rauching at 915-745-8000 or go to the number 3asites.com. For the first time ever, when you shop Furniture Row, you pay what we pay. That's right. For a limited time, our employee pricing is available to everyone. Get 15% off a single item with purchases of $9.99 and up. That means you can save big on that perfect sofa, dining table, bed, or Denver Mattress brand mattress. Our discount is your discount. Plus, get two years no interest financing. But hurry, employee pricing at Furniture Row ends Thursday the 9th. KTSM 9 News is the only local TV station on the road with your Bel Air Highlanders and San Elizario Eagles on their historic quest to earn state soccer titles. We saw some great soccer along the way. On air, online, and on the road, KTSM 9 News is your local sports authority. 
big is coming. It's the one, two, three sales events at Shamali Ford. This month, choose payments of $199, $299, or $399. Drive the 2019 Fiesta for just $199 a month. The 2019 Mustang is $299 a month. Or the 2019 Explorer is $399 a month. The one, two, three sales event is just another way. We're right on the corner, right on the price. I-10 and Lee Trevino. Ario Paso. Shamali all right, take a look at the rest of your nine-day forecast. You can go ahead and see that we are going to be cooling down by Wednesday and then 78 Friday. Big change from today and from tomorrow, but we should warm back up as we head on into next week. All righty, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching KTSM 9 News at 9. May the 4th be with you. Have a great night. Sponsored by Lachine Bias and Enderman Injury Lawyers.